I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and it's part two of an awesome dogfight battle between the HTC Droid DNA and the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Two flagship devices from HTC and from Samsung. But before we get into part two of an epic dogfight, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like the Droid DNA and like the Note 2 for use in our One Paw Bandit giveaway game, which we turn around and give to you for free at instantwin.phonedog.com. It's almost like I'm just putting these out on a platter and giving them to you for free. I mean, you just have to play the game but it's at instantwin.phonedog.com. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you won't deal with rebates, waiting eight to 10 weeks for paperwork and debit cards and all that mess. At Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out the door paying an after rebate price. So you can pocket that cash and save it for other holiday shopping. Let's take a look, Droid DNA, Note 2. Which one of these is the Mac Daddy mobile device that must have Android this holiday season? We'll find out, starting right now. What you get in this device is a wealth of personalization, and there are some things I absolutely love on both of these devices when it comes to personalization choices. For example, in messaging, one of my favorites, and I'll show you a text message so you can kind of see what it's like, but you can see, for example, this message that a fan sent me, I can do crazy backgrounds, customize my own background, and do colors so I can change the text boxes and more, but you can do that over here as well. So I'll go into this sample one that I did. For example, I can come into menu and I can personalize the text message. So for example, with background, I can change around the background of the text itself, I can make it a wood background, then I can come in and go back to personalization, change the colors as well. So you get a lot of choice on this device. So you know what? It may come out of the box with different colors. You can change it around and really make it your own. And that's something I like here. Beats Audio, also a big pro over on the HTC Droid DNA. And we'll do personalization as well, just so you can see. And we'll see the skins here. We've got a bunch of different skin choices on this device. Aluminum is what I have selected. HTC is what comes on it out of the box. But I can change it around. One of my favorites is graphite. And you can see, really make this device your own. Change it around, make it kind of look funky, and do your themes where it makes it a whole different looking device with a different look, a different feel, and a different color. So love the personalization choices over here. I will argue as well that HTC has a great widget implementation. I can press and hold the home screen and scroll pretty easily between my seven home screens and just drag and drop widgets as I see fit on the ones that are available. When I click on something, it'll tell me the ones that don't have space. Love that rollout of that. Very easy to use, and that's something that I think HTC does incredibly well. Let's finish it out by doing a speed test on this device. So I'll load up speed test on this. I'll load up speed test over here on this device. And let's do settings, and let's take a look. And so many settings in here I'm not even able to cover given the, uh, the time constraints. But be sure to take a look at the reviews of both of these devices for more information on all of the software features and goodies. Do speed test over here. HSPA Plus on T-Mobile, 4G LTE on Verizon. We'll do Fort Worth. Let's see what we've got over here. We'll just load it up and begin. Not Denver. Let's see what we've got here. And unfortunately, it looks like we're running out of time, so we have to just roll with it. Begin test on both of these devices. 4G LTE, HSPA+, Plus. speeds have been relatively decent on both of these devices. And as this is running, I'm going to go ahead and do the sign out because we're actually running out of time in this video. It's a tough dogfight like any of them because they're both incredible devices that really appeal to two different types of people. And there are features that I'm not able to cover given the time constraints in these videos. A ton of cool features. Things over here like the browser. Things over here like pop-out video where I can watch a video and take notes. And I've got some great productivity tools over on the Galaxy Note 2 with Android 4.1. And that said, if you want a phone that really feels like a phone with the power of Verizon's 4G LTE with a 1080p HD display, this is going to be your device. If you're looking for something that's more of a tablet smartphone hybrid, maybe you watch a lot of videos, maybe you draw a lot of stuff and send it to your friends and you want screenshots to draw on, this is going to be your device. The winner of the dogfight is the Galaxy Note 2. Just because of the features it packs, all around, it's the best package device between these two. That said, this is by far the best HTC device I've reviewed this year. They did an incredible job with this, yet yeah, needs more storage. Battery life's been surprisingly decent. Actually, on both of these devices, incredible over here. Standby's been good on this one, but that said, the draw goes to the Galaxy Note 2. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage on both of these devices. 13 megabits per second on the download here, 10 megabits per second on the download over here. Hit me up on Twitter, phone dog underscore Aaron, Aaron C. Baker on the personal account. Let me know what you think of these devices and more at those various accounts. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.